hope you're well. I better do that because you know you won't be able to hear me. It's the 16th of December. It's about 5.20 in the afternoon. Oh, the sun's always so bright when I'm driving here. Anyway, um, so I am just heading to the gym now. I have had a really good day. It's Saturday and I, um, I met up with my friend Nikki this morning for breakfast. I'd planned to go to the gym this morning, which is where I'm heading right now. But um, Nikki messaged me and we'd spoken about meeting up for breakfast and I really wanted to see her and I'm so glad I did. So I changed my plans and told myself that I'd go to the gym this afternoon, which is, as I said, what I'm doing now. And then after that, I have just been finishing off or... No, it's not finished yet. Doing more planning for the first quarter of 2018. So as you guys will probably know by now, if not, I'll link the other videos where I talk about it because I'm literally going to sound like a broken record in these videos. I am planning to um, work towards an impossible goal for 2018, which is to make $500,000 in my business, which at the moment feels completely impossible the whole point is really just to stretch the way you think and the way like what you believe is possible and to get comfortable with failing and um, all of that so I'll link those videos if you don't know what I'm talking about but anyway so um, I originally did all the workbook exercises from self-coaching scholars that are around how to create that goal when my goal was a hundred thousand which still, 100,000 still feels really challenging, but it just didn't feel completely impossible. So it wasn't going to stretch my mind as much as a completely impossible feeling goal, which is 500,000. So um, I redid all the workbook with the new, new and improved impossible goal. And that took me like a few hours because you go through... Um, like writing down what your goal is and how you'll be able to tell you've achieved it like the really measurable way that you'll know if you achieved it or not um, and then which is that bit's really not doesn't take long like the way I'll know if I achieved it is by looking at my company accounting records and seeing what gross revenue is like that super simple but um, after that you go through all of the reasons it's impossible so that's like all the mental drama you have around it and then you come up with a strategy to overcome all of those reasons and so that's what I was doing and then you come up with 25 results that you're going to attempt to get and could fail at getting but not failing because you didn't try failing because you tried and didn't get the result you wanted um, for the first quarter of the year so I've come up with a list of my come up with a list of all my um, results that I'm going to try and attempt and um, and I'm just gonna have a look over them and do some more work around it tomorrow I kind of felt like I got to my limit like my brain was just exhausted so I've <laughs> got that list and then I'm going to um, sorry you really can't see me this time of day with the Sun so low um, I'm really going to just refine them and actually make sure they're really specific, measurable, that they're all things that are results that I could fail at. It's really important not to just plan action, but to plan results, because if you plan action, you're not necessarily going to get the results, so you have to plan, like, aim for the result, not aim for the action. Um, so I did that, and then I've basically just been working on my procrastination course that I'm creating called get out of your own way and I already have a course called that um, but I'm updating it so it's a procrastination course for specifically for college students who are perfectionists um, so yeah I'm at the challenging bit of it now where I've and I was talking about this in another vlog that I was really excited doing like the initial research and planning out how I'm going to structure it and now I'm in the part where I'm actually drafting all the course content and I've it's been easier because like I have had a lot less mental drama around the writing and course creation than I have previously because 
I'm getting very good at telling myself something's a draft and that it can always be improved and all of that kind of thing. But it's still challenging to really try and put everything that I want to say into words to say in a really um, concise way. Sorry about this sun sitch. <laughs> to say it in a really concise way um, and to really just make sure that everything that I, the, all the advice I give is really practical, makes sense as well. And I know that's obvious, but because it's like hard to know what like I don't know how to describe this but you know what I mean like when you know something so well um when you teach someone you can often forget really fundamental basics because they're just like you assume everyone else knows them because they just feel like you know them so well so I'm really trying to make sure I am teaching everything in a really concise clear way so um, it is challenging to write that way, but I'm kind of just brain dumping in a sense, in a, a concise brain dump, and then coming back over it. But I'm just drafting the entire course, and then I'll come back and nut out each section because, yeah, I think I might update the the layout of the course once I've done that, so I can see what what should go where. So that's just what the process is like, and I'm gonna keep working on it tomorrow and do a few more hours um, and my friends Megan and Ainsley are coming over to see my new house and I'm gonna see grandma tomorrow as well and go to the gym so yeah that's basically all I've been doing today and now I am just gonna go to the gym and um, do some stair master I haven't exercised in two days and I'm really keen to just step on that stair master. <laughs> if you've never tried the stair master, like if you do, you'll know what I mean. Like it gets kind of addictive. And um, and then tonight, um, Marina, who's my housemate, she's dating Steve's twin, Chris, who lives with us as well. Um, she has a horse painting business and I'm just going to give her some coaching and advice around that which I'm excited about so um, that's basically it then Steve will be home from work and yeah that's all my update and if you haven't oh, I'm just trying to think what date this will come out it's never too late to plan for the new year and if you haven't planned a goal that's really going to stretch you um I really encourage you to do it especially because you'll get to see me talking about like I'm sure all the mental freak outs that will come with me trying to reach my crazy goal so I will link below stuff that can help you with that so even if you know you're not watching this till the new year please just get started it doesn't have to be a perfect and like calendar year like I started this daily vlog on the September 2nd I did not wait till the 1st of October after I had the idea so um yeah that's it I think and I hope you're well I hope you're really enjoying Christmas and I've nearly finished my Christmas shopping yesterday in the vlog I was just about to go shopping and I got a few more things I have three more things to get so I'm just proud of myself this year for being a lot more organized last year and the year before and the year before that I fully procrastinated and did it all on Christmas Eve but not this year that's yeah so much more enjoyable to not be stressed and I love Christmas time and Christmas shopping and all of that so it's nice to actually enjoy it without running around like a maniac that's all. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.